from this to that. I wanted to build a gaming phone, but everything went wrong. It was 24 volts? Seriously, the project almost blew up, but the result was impressive. So first I cracked open the phone and slapped some thermal paste on the bottom of the board. Then I added more on the top and glued the heatsink in place with the good old silicone. Nice and soft. Then I grabbed this real e-bike battery. <laughs> straight out of my bike. Then I connected four cells, each made of three batteries, giving a total of 30,000 million powers of real battery life. Battery is ready. I'm going to test it. What could actually go wrong? Okay, now I'm going to attach the battery. Oh my god! It's not a phone anymore, that's a freaking rocket. I mixed up the wires and the BMS got fired. But the good news is I have another battery so I'm going to steal the BMS. I soldered the BMS to the wires and now it's time for the cooling system. Unfortunately, it was 24 volts instead of 12. I swapped the fan with new and more powerful one and now the phone is finally done. It can play Minecraft with absolutely no luck and it's Java edition. And as you can see I added um, external speaker with a special connector that can be disconnected and connected. Now a real throttling test. Uh, yes, it was the fan again. I swapped the fan and now it's working fine again. It maintains temperatures between 26 and 27 degrees, which is amazing. Cooler than any phone or gaming PC. The phone showed 99.8% stability in the 20 minutes test. That's impressive. From 934th place to the first place, this thing crushed Samsung and iPhone instability. And it's with ZTE Nubia 10 Pro. Sadly, it's only stability, not actual power. If you want to increase your phone's performance without doing this, go watch my previous video. I show 5 ways how to make your phone fast. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.